When you think of a sustainable city, you think of people that can bike to work, that can walk to work, that can really not depend on the car for everything they do in their lives. When we heard of this project, we thought this was probably one of the best things that could happen in Cupertino because having visited Cupertino, there seemed to be an imbalance between workspace and places to live. The city is diverse and the workplace is diverse. It isn't all 20 year olds. There are people with gray beards like me. It'll be a reflection and a cross section of the city and of the culture and of the region. We have a composition that is made up of this series of cubes. Not every unit is the same. Not every view is the same. Your apartment has a certain personality. Your unit is not looking into a parking lot, is not looking into a highway, is looking into a piece of nature. I was very interested in not making fake nature in a city. You can bring a lot of the attributes. You can bring the sunlight, you can bring the trees, you can bring the water, you can bring movement and light. When you design a landscape for a place like the Hamptons, you're thinking partly about how to work in a community, you're thinking about what's good for the people who invest and live there, but you're also thinking about their actual physical well-being. It is the critical mass of 942 units that allows us to create a village and to create a village center with a main street. You begin with a place where to park your bike or even fix it, or where you can exercise, or where you can gather with your friends in a cafe, or you can organize an event on one of the community spaces. The plan is organized beginning on Main Street around a linear park. And this linear park has topography. It goes up and down through ramps and steps. It has water that you can hear, that you can swim in. I think in the world of public spaces, the world is looking at how to activate parks. And uh, that is what we've tried to create in this master plan. We've tried to adjust our palette so that it isn't so heavily dependent upon using too much water. The thing about buildings is we share their outside, but we don't really share their inside. But the thing about a landscape is that even a private landscape, you participate in it and it affects you. We love doing housing because it really gives you a feeling that you're contributing in creating a community. It is where people spend most of their time. And it is the essence of a neighborhood. 